So my dear friends, like I said at the beginning of the Mass, that today we are celebrating the feast of the dedication of the Lutheran Basilica. The Lutheran Basilica is very important because it is the episcopal seat of the Pope as the Bishop of Rome. So, you know, most of us, we think that the Pope lives at St. Peter's Basilica now. He lives at this basilica. That is his episcopal seat. And also we are celebrating the feast of the dedication because of its significance as the mother of all churches. It was dedicated in the year 324 AD by Pope Sylvester the first. And in this basilica, about five councils have been convened and they took place in this basilica. So it is very important, not only in the, for the history of the church, but also in our lives as Christians, as followers of Jesus. And also, because we are Catholics, the Pope is the leader, the visible head of the Catholic Church on earth. And we know that Jesus is the head of the church, but we are the members of this body of Christ. So this feast is very important to us. It reminds us of our history. It reminds us of our belief. So today that we are celebrating this feast, there are a few takeaways. When we gather to celebrate, we are gathering as the people of God, as the visible church, but we also have the structural church. So there is this connection. Because when the church is dedicated, it becomes holy, where we can step in our foot and experience God in an extraordinary way. So it is very important that we have this respect for things of God, like any temple that is dedicated, any church that is dedicated, because in, in there lives this presence of God. And that is what the first reading reminds us this morning, that in the temple of God, there is this water that flows from the temple to the people. And this refers to the blessings that we receive when we gather to pray. Because when we gather to pray, it is not just the human beings that are in the church. The angels, the saints of God are also in the church. Because there is a communion between the living and the dead. The angels of God will come down from heaven and bring our blessings. And they also carry our petitions back to God. So there is this exchange. There is what is called anabatic and catabatic reaction. Our blessings coming down, petitions going up. This reminds us of how wonderful God is. He has been taking care of us. Remember, he promised us that he would never leave us as orphans. He keeps surrounding us with his love and his presence. And one of the places that we can experience the presence of God is in the church. 
So that is why this feast is very important to us. But the second reading reminds us that let us not just dwell on the structural church, that the body is also the temple of the Holy Spirit. That not only that, the Spirit of God resides in the church where we experience God's presence, the Spirit of God also resides in us. That is why we have to always remember that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body belongs to God. Therefore, we have to take care of our body and not to desecrate our body because that is where the Holy Spirit of God lives, resides. So when people... We have to be very conscious of that, my dear friends. So today that we are celebrating this feast, we are being reminded once again that God is still with us. He lives with us in so many ways. He lives with us in the Eucharist. He lives with us in the temple of God, in the church. So, let us always pray for the grace to acknowledge his presence in our lives by making sure that we do not desecrate whatever God has blessed. That was why when Jesus went to the temple, he saw that they have turned the temple into a marketplace. He became angry and he drove people away. So, may God continue to bless us, and may his words always inspire us to do better, to become better people. Amen? Please, may we rise.